Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with the all-new Multi-Process 140. So, this unit, if you're familiar with Lincoln, the 140 unit, now they have a multi-process unit. So it's MIG, STIG, and TIG. So, same package size as the old 140, but now you can do three and one in this one. So, brand new unit, just got it here. Uh, I'm gonna open it up, do an unboxing of it, see what comes with, see how it looks inside. Let's check it out here. We'll So on the inside here, I'll lower this tape down so you guys can see. Button, true Lincoln fashion, it's packaged up pretty nice. It's got some nice little squeezed in there. So inside here, this part's on the side. You got your regulator flow meter. Packaging. Yeah, you got your interconnecting cable, your MIG gun, got your gas hose for your flow flow meter regulator, stinger, and your power cord here. So let me pull the unit out. Oh, don't forget the manual. Pull the unit out here. Everything. Perfect. So, same unit, like I same package as the 140, but now it's all it's a multi-process unit. So, same wire guide. Um, you know all your welding process guides. So DC positive, DC negative, spool gun, stick, and now TIG. All right. So you got your starter kit. Two spools, inner shield, Super Arc L56. Contact tips on the side, air shield wire, pretty cool. I'm guessing that this is a TIG consumable kit. Oh, nope, ground clamp. All right. All right, so <clears throat> we're gonna try out this new 140 MP. Uh, some, of the, some of the pros of this unit, so everyone's asking, okay, if I'm gonna buy a 140, just buy the 140 MP, because you get a multi-process unit, MIG, TIG, and stick. TIG is an accessory, you gotta add it on. But this whole unit right here, $782. So for an entry level welder, or somebody that wants to just uh, try out all the processes and wants to spend under $1,000, this unit's for you. Um, you know, all the father-son welding teams that wanna get into the garage and start welding, this unit's for you. It's a 110, plugs into a wall outlet. Um, and it does 140 amps, obviously. It's a perfect little machine for multi-process. I, uh, I would recommend it. We're gonna try it out though and weld, see how it welds. Um, but as you open it up, so this machine has your, uh, you know, your parameters, as I said, wire type, and then you go down through and obviously, so we're, we're gonna run some steel MIG Super Arc L56 with 7525 gas, 030. So we're gonna be, I think we got some eighth inch material. So we're gonna go up to H8. So on the front of the machine, that correlates H8 is with H8. So that's their recommended setting for that eighth inch material that we're gonna be welding on. Um, let's flip it on, we'll give it a shot, see how it, how it welds. So what you, and I guess another unique thing about this is, is the price point. Um, and the size, it's actually 20 pounds lighter than the 140 M, the 140 that's currently out. So this thing's 20 pounds lighter and it's only $782 and it's a multi-process unit for under a grand. That's, that's a smoking deal. So flip that down, we'll get the wire loaded. I'll flip the machine on and we'll give it a shot here.
right, so now that we got our, the wire fed our wires in, we'll hook our crown clamp up to the table here. And we're gonna put it in the negative terminal because our MIG machine's in the positive terminal. So I got, we got the wire fed. We got her on H8 because we're welding on eighth inch. We're gonna run the parameters that they said were good. I'm gonna come around here. I got my gas hooked up. I'm running 7525. And remember, this is a 110 volt unit. I'm running off a 25 foot extension cord. Now we're relatively close to the, where the power circuit comes in, but still, it's a 25 foot extension cord. And we're running that, that kind of power on it to shut that unit. So let's give it a shot. Got a pretty nice short arc for being 110 unit. I mean, that's 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 very nice. I think definitely for the home hobbyist, um, and this is a perfect unit. And and I will tell you this: it's it's built by a brand that uh, homegrown here in Cleveland. Also, I think it's going to be a little bit different than your you know, the people out there that say, "Well, I, I'm going to go to Harbor Freight and buy a lot. I'm going to do that." Well, you're buying name brand. You're buying something that is based out of Cleveland. It's well known. It's uh, serviceable, warrantyable. You can come to us, Baker's Gas, we can service it warranty. So I think that's a good selling point on this thing. All in all, I'm, I like the welder. It's a pretty nice unit. So the 140, if you want to, if you think it's too small for you, it's 110, uh, 110 volt unit. The next step up is a 210 MP. That unit is about twice as much as this, but you get 220, 110 capabilities. You get the LCD screen. Um, you get a little bit more functionality out of that unit. I don't know. So what is, what's it worth? If you're just home hobby and you're doing small jobs, perfect. Light, carry it anywhere. If you want to get a little bit more functionality, go to 220, 220 volt. Step up to the 210 MP. So to wrap things up on the 140 MP, it comes with your stinger, your ground, and a MIG gun. You can add the TIG accessory and you can add the spool gun accessory. The spool gun's roughly 350 bucks, call it. And the TIG kit is roughly 325 to 350 um, if you wanna add that onto this unit. So for an all-in price of getting a TIG kit, you're talking just over $1,000 for the whole unit, but you get three processes, that's a great deal. Um, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos. Um, I have some more coming out. And uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, to get more viewers on there. Also, uh, we're going to throw out a promo code for this, and uh, we're going to just call it multi-process. And uh, if you do that, we'll throw in some free gloves with the purchase of this unit. Thanks again for watching.